Our reporter, Randy Ripplinger, has followed this case since the night Gilmore shot a Provo motel clerk. And the big question now is, Randy, will Gilmore be shot November 15th? Probably not. There are so many legal questions unanswered that I don't think anyone would dare pull the trigger. The situation became tangled last night when public defender Mike Espeland and attorney Craig Snyder told Gilmore they were going to appeal his case. Snyder says Gilmore then fired them. The lawyers filed a motion to appeal this morning and asked Judge J. Robert Bullock to stop the execution. A three-man, nine-woman jury had sentenced Gilmore to death after convicting him of killing Provo Motel clerk Benny Bushnell. But today, Judge Bullock balked at signing the stay of execution. The judge was not sure if the two attorneys could try to save the life of the client who fired them. Bullock asked the county attorney to check into it. Wayne Watson of that office is asking the state attorney general what should be done. By the time an opinion comes back, Gilmore could be dead. Public defender Esplin thinks the judge would stop the execution to wait for the opinion. And what about Gilmore? This is exactly what he doesn't want to wait for. First, the judicial system took away his right to live, and now it is denying him the right to die. There's something else waiting for all this to be resolved. Gilmore was supposed to be tried for another murder next Monday. But Judge Bullock has set that aside to see if the defendant will be around for the whole trial. Public defender Mike Esplin and co-counsel Craig Snyder represented Gilmore through his murder trial. They had never handled a first-degree murder case before. They filed a notice of appeal after his conviction, which would normally keep Gilmore alive as long as the case was being tested in court. But that's exactly what Gilmore does not want. So he fired the attorneys. So why are Esplin and Snyder going ahead with the appellate processes? We felt that uh, uh, even with that in mind, we still had the, uh, the duty to ensure that all the legal processes were, uh, were complied with. Duty to what? Duty to who or what? Duty to him as his uh, attorneys. But he doesn't want you as attorneys. That's correct. We are appointed by the court and until we're... Uh, so is it a duty to the court? A duty to the system? Or is it a duty to him? It's a duty to him, I, I think, as well as possibly a duty to the, uh, the other entities you mentioned. For more than half of his 34 years, Gilmore has looked at the world from the inside of reform schools, county jails, and state penitentiaries. It's unusual to ask to be killed, all right, but perhaps he's had enough of prison life. With his record, death is about the only way out. Numerous psychiatric tests say he knows what he is doing, mentally competent to make the decision. Gilmore's fate now rests in the hands of the Utah Supreme Court. All five justices held an executive session today to decide if Gilmore had the right to die or if his attorneys had the right to keep him alive. It's a unique question, but the answer won't come until tomorrow noon.